We've been talking to people um, all week long here in a Demopolis and Linden, Alabama, and they all pretty much have the same thing to say. Now let's go back to Jacksonville. I'm sure for a lot of you, this is bringing up some old memories. You remember Lonzi Barden and Cherish Periwinkle, what that was like when they went missing and later when they were found. Well, think about the detectives who are investigating those cases. We're going to go to Robert Bradfield tonight, who's on your side with one detective's memories about situations like this. Robert. And Anthony, retired JSO officer Charlie Wilkie has nearly 30 years of law enforcement experience. Those years of service, he tells me, included some heartbreaking days and even sleepless nights. And he can relate, he says, to what it's like for the officers who uncovered the child's remains in the woods in Alabama. The smiles and energy seen in these home videos of five-year-old Taylor Williams bring back some unfortunate and unforgettable memories for Charlie Wilkie. I still get recognized on the street. People look at me and they go, you're, you're the cop that found those kids. In 2013, while working as a canine handler with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, he found the body of eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle, who had been kidnapped, raped, and murdered. Her body was found in the marsh of a creek behind a church. Wilkie would also arrest her killer, Donald Smith. You can see where he actually drug Cherish out through the, through the reeds and stuff and shoved her up underneath a tree that was underwater. Almost two years later, 21-month-old Lonzi Barton was reported missing. Reuben Ebron, Lonzi's caregiver, admitted to dumping the toddler's body under a stack of tires in the Bayard area of Jacksonville's south side. Wilkie would also be the one to find Lonzi's body. Unfortunately, there were his remains. His skull was literally right at my feet. Those cases are hard to forget for Wilkie. The mental and emotional toll hard on the father of four. You want to be that hero. You want to be that person that, you know, helps bring him back and, and, and does something really helpful. But in some cases, he says that help falls short. And it's those times first responders step up to offer families a shoulder to lean on. It's never going to be a thing you're going to forget about or not remember. Wilkie also telling me tonight that empathy and compassion is also a major part of his job. He says he stays in touch with Cherish Periwinkle's dad and other family members talking to them some nights for hours. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.